the things that we're kicking off this week. It's all about new hobbies, and we have a new hobby we're going to introduce you today and one every day of the week. Yep, this is a great time to start something brand new, and let's kick off things with something beautiful that smells amazing, flowers. Everybody loves flowers, correct? Yeah, so flower arrangement, and we have David Elder from Kuhn's to really tell us all about this as a hobby, but also how to do it. So, so we're going to arrange the show. them. Right, right. Um, I'm going to try to walk you through the basic steps to creating a radial design. And okay. Radial refers to the fact that all of the stems are aimed at a central access point. Okay. Right? First okay. of all, though, as we're getting into this as a hobby, so at Kuhn, you probably sell loose flowers as Absolutely. well as arrangements. Absolutely. We have so a huge selection, a big variety of individual stems. You can uh -huh. come in and purchase the stems. We'll also be working with... Uh, with a foam floral lock. foam today, okay. we sell this, the, the containers, pretty much anything you would need, really. But, but the, before we go into the design, one of the things that I never know when I see flowers, I buy flowers, at what stage should you buy them in? Like, because I see some of these are closed and you would think it's going to last longer, right? It will. But then at the same point, too, you don't want to give somebody one where it's all closed up. So what do you recommend? Right, there's a fine line. You, you want them to be showing color. You want them to be showing some development so that they will continue to develop. And if they're fully blown, Actually, in some, a situation like a wedding where it has to be perfect for that moment, you want them fully blown and fully developed. That makes but sense, as a yeah. gift, you want them to have some longevity. And, and of course, we guarantee the life of right. our flowers. I'm thinking like so. you hand somebody flowers, or I'll close a black. In two weeks, this is going to be beautiful. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> yeah, two weeks. So what comes first? Well, first of all, I'll put my I, microphone would you like me? down. Yeah, yeah, I can hold that. Um, radio design, as I said, radiates from a central axis point. This is a perfect example on the end here. It's beautiful. If you follow the stems of those flowers, every flower is going to be aimed at that central point. Sure. So I've prepared these two containers and I'm gonna do a few insertions and then I'm gonna let you and Mark okay. take over. All right. Sounds so, great. So, yeah, um, could this also be done with um, dry or imitation flowers? Absolutely. Well? I mean, I would absolutely. prefer to have the flowers, aroma silk flowers. that we have now, but I just wondered. But if you wanna create a, a permanent centerpiece for your dining room table, Okay, so these Absolutely. same principles. Same principles. And then how okay. long would this last, you know, oh, like the shelf life of life Week, 10 days easily. Oh, that's nice. Okay. Just need to keep, a good amount of time. keep water in it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, um, okay. If it's in a vase, you want to dump the water and change it every couple of days and uh, use a flower food preservative, which we have little packets at the store. Um, okay, so you want to cut your stems, and I use a knife, but we have a choice of, of tools here. Um, I always make the first insertion in the center at the top. That's the vertical line. It needs to be the strong line. And then keeping them all at about the same length so that if you can see hey, Mark, this. Mark, you better get sure. cracking okay, here because we only here. have a minute, and I want to make right. sure we have something to so look at that you've done. those are all coming from that center point. Okay, yeah, and that is keep beautiful. Them about the same length. Okay. And, and are you planning to do the roses all around the, or is well, it I'm going to me? let you take okay. over. All right. I'm afraid to cut anything. You know Could I'll you be my cutter? Them, so and then yeah. that would be great. So, all right, let's talk about Valentine's Day at Kuhn. Things are about to go, get popping, aren't They're they? They're about to get crazy. <laughs> so what do you recommend um, order for? Order early. Order early. Okay. And, <laughs> and early. are you uh, looking for drivers? Because I know a lot of times at Valentine's always, Day, you're always, always looking for drivers. And, That's and good. To, to be a good delivery driver on Valentine's Day, first of all, you can't be nervous about it. But secondly, uh -huh. it helps to know the general area. Oh, yeah. Um, of the course. best folks tend to be people who have uh, driven a lot, like, um, you know, pizza delivery people. Okay. You know, uh, rescue volunteers, mm -hmm. um, firemen. This is going quickly, so I can right. see where we're going to keep doing this. Tell you what, we're going to do this and show maybe at the end of the show our sure. progress. Does that sound good? Sounds great. All right, so thank you so thank much. You. And thanks. So this much. is a lot of fun. If you want more information on Kuhn, of course, you can go to our website, RiverCityLiveTV.com, and we'll be back.